Today's episode is brought to you by Privacy Hawk. Privacy Hawk is going to protect you online. Now let's jump to this podcast. Hello, everybody. It's time for Ghosts and Friend Dogs. Friend Dogs in the morning. In the morning. Live, 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 live. In four hour recording studio. Recording. Wake your ass up. It's the next trending in the morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the episode of Cox and Crendo in the morning. Yo, we're actually recording this uh, kind of in the morning. <laughs> kind of in the morning. Yeah, I mean, like almost. It's morning somewhere. Yeah, that's true. I guess we're always in the morning because it's morning somewhere. Yeah, on this earth of ours, this great little ball in space floating in the void of stars. It is, in fact, morning somewhere. It sounds like you're trying to write a term paper and you're just extending. I was, I was, I was trying, I was trying to write something. It was not coming out. I'll tell you that. <laughs> how's your, uh, how's your Earth stay been going? Well, this Earth stay uh, has been rough. Uh, like I said, I was, I was sick. I got sick, and uh, I thought I was coming off of it, and then it just my nose kept running, and it kept getting like you know. It got to the point where I realized either. I keep downing medicine and try to dry myself out so I'm not (laughs) snotty all the time, or I just start blowing like a crazy person. Right. And so I, I, usually what happens if I take medicine, I get dried out, but then I get like a cough that lasts a long time afterwards. Uh, Uh, So this time I was like, screw it. I'm just going to blow my nose like a crazy person. And uh, yeah, so far no cough. My nose is still a little like, "Eh, uh," but... I'm feeling fine, so maybe that's the strat. Maybe I don't want to keep taking Dayquil and instead just be like, "F it, blow my nose." Because other than that, I'm fine. I just it's, oh, I hate colds. Colds are the stupidest. Well, I think part of it depends on the type of cold. Because there's colds I've had I didn't get a cough. There's colds I've had where I do get a cough. You know what? How about you don't science this and let me have it, okay? <laughs> How about you stop trying to be like, well, actually, there's multiple types of colds and different strains. How about instead you be like. Oh, congratulations, Jesse. You figured it out. You, you stopped yourself from coughing. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's>, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because right, the last cold I had, I had a cold in February. It was, it was a rough cold. That was like, it's like you said, I had the, the, the classic, like, Bleh. but then I started getting all runny, and I was like, Bleh, and you're blowing your nose. And then after that, the cough hit, and I was just like, oh, no. And I, was, I remember just like, I strained my rib cage and I was just like, Ugh. I'd like cough when I'd like hold a pillow up to my chest to be like, <clears throat> uh, that was fun. Yeah, no, that's not, I mean, that's what I wanted to avoid. There's been times where I've gotten sick and it lasted like three days, but then I had a cough for like two weeks. Yeah. It's, and I was uh, like, not, no, not happening this time. Why do you get a cough after a cold? I assume because you got a lot of like uh, slime coming out of your nose, and some of it goes back into your lungs. I do think that's part of it. It's like the post nasal drip type of thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I'm trying other... to like push it the other way. <laughs> I'm like, no lung, <laughs> only well, nose. I think it's also your throat and lungs are all irritated. Oh yeah, that's cough is caused true. by irritation receptors in the throat and lungs. And in- infection increases the sensitivity of those receptors. So really, when you're blowing your nose, being like, I'm getting it all out. You're not really getting all of it out. It's just everything's irritated. Well, you know what? I'm. T- t- let me have this. I was feeling <laughs> we good. We went over this. To- I'm not letting you have it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now go cough in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> Dude, I remember. I was like, <laughs> every night I'd be like, "Dude, it's Nyquil time. Let's go." That's great. The, I will say, shout out to Nyquil. <laughs> it's like, good night, everyone. Go, go, go. Yeah, the uh, Nyquil time is fantastic. <laughs> like count it down. We should get a Nyquil sponsorship. Out of all <laughs> really the sponsorships, should. that should be the one. Nyquil. You won't be awake for it. <laughs> Thank God you won't. Uh, <laughs> Man, it is. Yeah, I wish. I wish. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, wait, you had cold. I had the cold. Yeah, the last cold I had, that was rough. That was like three weeks. And I remember. Yeah, I, I don't uh, want that. 
I got stuff. To, I got stuff I got to do. I can't yeah. be. It can't be sick. It started out with the post nasally drip, where it was like I felt my nose being like, Ugh, and I was like, maybe it's allergies. It is like you know going to be March and things are starting, and then nope, it was it was cold. Uh, it's and I don't even. Here's the thing. I never really mind being sick for the first day or two, where you're just kind of like, oh geez, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna eat some soup. I'm gonna you know take the day off, take it easy. It's kind of like you're when you're staying home from school when you're sick, and you're just like. Whoa, you're watching shows and playing games like all right and then once you hit like day three i'm like all right i'm done with this <laughs> let's go what's weird is that i wouldn't so for this cold for example during the day i'm fine i'm doing all right and i know this is a thing because i've researched this so i know this is like an actual real last thing right. but like during the day totally fine my nose isn't all that stuffed up life is good i still got a little like funk but like i'm fine nighttime hits I'm like, oh, oh, God, oh, what's going on? And I, I guess, at least from what I researched, there is a, like a, the later it gets, the more the cold kind of gets you. Mm. I don't know why that, I don't like that. I don't like the rules. <laughs> I don't like while, I will have like a completely free, not runny nose. I'll go to lay down in my bed and suddenly it'll start running. And I'm like, where's the tissue? Oh my God, I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> why has it got to be like that? <laughs> yeah i know uh, you gotta stay hydrated you hydrating oh man i've been drinking so much water i went through a lot of water all right that's good yeah all right i'm all except at this. night because then i'll wake up in the morning i'll be like <laughs> <laughs> oh i uh, yeah. need some water yeah <laughs> uh well at least you're on the you're on the the home stretch now right yeah i mean I, I've been, uh, I, I 100% am. It's just one of those things where it's like a little bit, a little bit there. So if I have like a scratchy voice or a little stuffy nose, it's because I'm at the tail end. But I've been, I've been souping it up all week. I went and got pho one day. I got uh, ramen broth the other day. I, they were like, you don't want noodles? I was like, nope, no <laughs> noodles. I don't want it. I just want the broth, please. And they were like. Okay. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Um, I went and got uh, the spicy Campbell soup at the grocery store again. I love that. It's a, it's a, I'm probably, I'm, I'm sure it's super salty, but love it. It's extra spicy. Uh, I got the chicken soup. It's good stuff. Um, yeah, I just souped it up. Got a lot of broths in my body and then drank a lot of water. I mean, that's pretty much all you can do. Yeah. Uh, I, um, one, although one day I did uh, go to a bakery and get like a little bread loafy thing, mm. and I thought my assumption was I'll eat this throughout the week. Uh, I proceeded to eat it over the course of a day. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was just snacking on bread because I was like, man, this bread's good. It was like a sourdough. I was like, oh, this is good. <laughs> and I, I originally got it because I was going to dip it in the soup. But then I was like, oh, my God. And I just sat all, there, all day munching on it. By the end of the day, there was like, one eighteenth of a loaf of bread left, and I was like, "Well, I'll save it for tomorrow." <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it reminds me of breakfast. Hold on, I wrote yes. down. I got it. Hold on. Yeah. All right, here we go. I wrote this down. So, I forgot to bring this up last week. Oh but boy. Friday last week, we went to breakfast, and it was you know pretty normal until this. One lady came in, and it was your classic uh, crazy brunch lady. So I love a good crazy brunch lady. First off, it's raining outside, all right? So she comes in, and she has her phone in a Ziploc bag. Okay? Now... I was uh, initially, I assume, oh, she she had it in a bag because it was raining out. She's going to take it out. She did not. She kept using it while it was in the Ziploc bag. Wait, hold on. Visually, what does this look like? So she's got her phone. She's got yeah. like a little bag, like the you know, bag you put like sandwiches in and stuff. Right? Sure. And then she's just using it in the bag while it's raining. Yeah, well, she's inside now. But I take it she was using it while it was raining. The bag was wet. But now she's like sitting at the table and she's like using the phone with like the wet bag. So I'm like, I'll, why didn't she just take it out? <laughs> it's a solid question, but I, what <laughs> kind of phone is this? It was just like an iPhone or something. Cause I mean, did it seem like a newer phone? Cause newer phones, 
are like they've got some water resistance built in now. That's true. So I, I get. I didn't know I if mean, it was I, like a germ thing, right? But but still, the plastic would get germy. Yeah, that's what I was like. That doesn't make sense. Plus so I have no idea. Plus, it's wet still. I don't know if she was like, well, I'll finish up this call and then I'll take it out the bag. Yeah, I, but she wasn't. Which is still it. crazy. Which is still like, also, I mean, maybe she walked to the restaurant. Like, she did I, not. So she drove. So she would have had to put it in the bag before leaving the car. And then walking, couldn't she have just said, hold on, I'm going into a restaurant really quick and just finish the conversation in the car? Well, she wasn't on the phone. She was, like, texting on it. Bro. <laughs> what? I thought she was just talking. No, she was literally texting on the phone in the bag. That's what I'm saying. She was, like, using the phone through the bag, like, texting on it. I, a, like, uh, Ziploc bag. Dude. <laughs> All right, I got no answers for you. <laughs> Texting in a bag makes no sense. That's what I'm saying. So I already knew this was good. She was going to be an interesting character. Right? <laughs> and she sat down literally at the booth behind us. So she was like right there. And Great. she was Love like it. walking. And she must be a regular because she sat down and they're like, oh, here's your table you like. And she's like, it is raining outside. It is. I, I hear it's supposed to be raining for like 20 minutes. And then it's going to stop. I think it's supposed to start up again. And I was like. Uh, okay like it doesn't even matter like she we're in the restaurant who cares and then she's like yeah my uh my tesla's getting wet <laughs> i was like so she had a blue tesla by the way do you think she just doesn't like water like she's like a like a water phobe why'd she get a blue tesla then it's like the color of water <laughs> <laughs> true touche yeah why yeah. get blue if you like, if you don't like water, why get a blue Tesla? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So <laughs> she did all that. She still. <laughs> I can't believe that was your takeaway. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> was, okay. So then she's still just like doing her phone thing, and then she was. They're like, "Do you want your what do you what you normally drink?" She's like, "Yep, iced tea, less ice, uh, and then sugar on the side." And they're like, okay. So they bring out her iced tea, less ice sugar on the side. And she's like still on her phone. She's still using the phone through the bag. All right. And then they're like, oh, what do you want to eat? And she says, I want my sandwich. I don't know what sandwich is what, what it was. But she's like, sandwich, mayo on the side, one pancake. I don't like more than one pancake. One pancake, fruit, but only orange slices. <laughs> Like, of all the people, you know what? <laughs> of all the people on planet Earth that would have a phone in a plastic bag, this is she's oh, the yeah. one. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, I was like, "All right, this is all adding up now." Fruit, but only <laughs> orange slices. Just yeah. ask for an orange, then. You could just say just orange slice, but yeah, she's <laughs> fruit, Either, but fruit, only orange slices. Only... It's like she's ordering for a child. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> and uh, they got it right because they brought it out, and she's like, "Fantastic!" And then, okay. She proceeds to, there's like another person comes in and sits down in the booth behind her. And it's like this mom and her kid. The kid's like, I don't know, four or something. And, well, I know he's four because she turns around and goes, oh, you having fun? How old are you? And he's like four. And she's like, my daughter's three. <laughs> and the mom's just like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then she's like, yep, yeah, it's. I bet you, when's your birthday? And he's like, December. And she's like, wow, it's Christmas time. You get Christmas presents and birthday. And they're like, yeah. And then she just like turns back around and starts using her phone in the bag again. I was like, dude, what the shit is happening? I have a genuine question. Do yeah. you think she really has a three-year-old child? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. If I, if I had to guess, I'd put it like a 40% chance. This, it feels like the I think you should leave with Bob Odenkirk where he's like, yo, yeah, I got a great wife at home. Life is good. Got, I got uh, You got to have triples. I got three cars, one to drive, one to show off, and one I keep. You know, I got to have triples. Like, do you think that's, do you think that's the, the situation? She's just like, I'm going to make up some stuff and hopefully they'll believe me. Or do you think she really has a kid at home? And she just ditched that kid to go get breakfast. I, I'm sorry, to get a sandwich, one pancake, and some orange slices. Yeah, I, in her <laughs> Tesla. 
I don't know, but there's a few other things. She also, the guy came back, the waiter guy, and she was like, I am so tired. Like, she just said, I am so tired, like, twice. Then she talked about, she was like, so, uh, she asked the waiter about something, and he was like, oh, I think I saw your Tesla at, like, this place. And I was like, oh, it's her. So, like, they definitely know her. And she was like, oh, yeah, I was there. And then she's like, what were you, do you, what car do you have, whatever? And then he's like, yeah, I got it. You know, I dropped out of high school, but I graduated. And she goes, that is so sad. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is so sad. You are so sad. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that is so sad. And then she said, she talked about how she used to be a, a teacher so she used to be a teacher, like, I guess a grade school teacher. Uh, and then, I don't know, I guess, so she was like, oh, it's sad you didn't keep getting educated because I used to be a teacher or something. I, I don't guess. know what she does now. Drives like, a Tesla, talks into a plastic yeah. bag. <laughs> yeah, she moved up in the world, I guess. <laughs> can, can afford to order an insane <laughs> lunch. Of, yeah. Of sandwich, one pancake, and only orange slices with yep. tea, not too much ice, sugar yeah. on the side. Yeah, it was it was one of those like Starbucks orders that I always make fun of. Yeah, um, it was, and so uh, it's a very specific order. I feel like if anything, you at home could make a sandwich, one pancake, and orange slices <laughs> for yep. much cheaper. Probably, but I think like, she that likes doesn't the, seem like the order you should get at a restaurant. I feel like she's just she likes the social aspect of it. I know there's a lot of. There's a lot of people that go to like brunch all the time. It's like the social aspect of it. But she was there by herself. Well, she was like talking to every, like she talked to the people behind her. She talked to the wait staff. They all knew her. Like clearly she talks to everybody. In fact, How when she old was leaving. was this person? I want to say like 40. Interesting. Okay. I mean, all right. It's not, I would have thought, all right, 70. No one to talk to, no one at home. This is what you do. You go out, you talk yeah. to people. You saw 40? Well, she said she has a three-year-old. They're going to have a three-year-old. Yeah, with a kid at 70. home? Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I have no idea what. <laughs> yeah, maybe, some then, time, maybe she just needs to get out of the house. You know what? I don't fault her for that. That was my theory. I was like, maybe she just needs to get out of the house. Because otherwise, why didn't she bring her like three-year-old with her to eat? Uh, exactly. So I was like, you Maybe think the three-year-old and the husband are like, stop talking into the bag. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing Maybe. us. And she's like, you don't understand me. I'm going to go get my sandwich, one pancake, and a bunch of <laughs> orange slices. Yeah. Like, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But my favorite part, all right. So she's like, all right, I'm going to leave. Uh, whatever. She, like, said goodbye to the weights. Like, she looked into the kitchen and said bye to people. Uh, and then walked out to her blue Tesla. And I was like, I wanted to, I was like, I just want to. I just want to know, like, how, what's her Tesla look like? Is it cool? Walked outside. Do you think she was, she's an owner? I don't think so. I think she's just... I, I, I feel like she's just getting out to escape. I, I, I feel like that's what it is. And, like, I think she probably works a lot, so that's why she's like, I'm tired. But, right. like, she, at uh, sorry, home, so she's what, down. Sorry, but what was going on with the Tesla? Oh, I walked outside. She was parked in, like, three spaces. Yep, that's, um, <laughs> and I was like, "That's it. That that's the cherry on top." It confirms all of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just straight up, like parked in three parking spaces. Because I, I was gonna say, there's a, like a little bit of self importance mm -hmm. when it comes to going over and like actively be like, "Thank you, chefs. Thanks, everyone in the yeah. back. Thank you." <laughs> yeah. Like most people don't do that, and the reason why is because they got shit. The chefs got shit to do. They don't have time to be like. Cool, thanks, stranger. So she's clearly, <laughs> yeah. she's ingratiated herself in there to a point where it's like a self-important, everyone here knows me, so I'm important. Yeah, and so she's like, oh, they must be waiting for me to say bye or something. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Goodbye. There's yeah, definitely some, some self-importance entitlement. Yeah, and the three parking space absolutely yeah. seals the deal. Oh, 100%. It's, <laughs> and so, listen, as soon as she came in with that plastic bag over the phone, I was like, this is going to be an experience. I mean, so, it sounds like it. <laughs> it was. It truly was. I, I don't know. Bro, I think if I had to pick one meal that, to eat out, out of like all the meals, it would be brunch. You just you get the you get the best of both worlds of breakfast, lunch. You get like people waking up, they're having their coffee, they're like getting ready for the day, but they're like talking about stuff. Like I I got so much stuff to do today, or I got stuff, and then you know dinner's a little more like chill. People are just like winding down. But like I think brunch is just. It's great. 
Yeah. Brunch gives you the opportunity to kind of cheat the day, mm-hmm. right? Like, you're not going to brunch to get a salad. Yeah. yeah. Like, salad is a lunch thing, but brunch isn't a salad. Th- brunch is like, I'm going to brunch, and I'm going to get, like, a, a mimosa and uh, something that I probably shouldn't eat. <laughs> yeah. And Usually, right. uh, I alternate. I'll get, like, a skillet, big skillet sure. thing. And then I usually alternate to like a French toast. Love a good French toast. All that's it's that's great brunch stuff. Yeah. And then uh, one time they had chili and eggs. I got that. That was pretty good. That was when I was feeling See? crazy. Uh, you, <laughs> I love that you're crazy as chili and eggs. <laughs> Listen, you don't know how that chili's gonna hit. <laughs> this is good. You're getting crazy. Uh, and then I keep being like, maybe I'll get a sandwich. But every time, listen, I wake up at like. Noon. So I'm just like, no, nah, I'm I'm getting my breakfast breakfast. Sure. So yeah. Well, I the just... option's there for those who did not wake up at noon, which is why brunch is superior. Agreed. Yeah. Um so that's my crazy story. Well, you know what? I'm glad I'm glad we learned about uh <laughs> this uh exciting woman and her adventures. I love that for her. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll see her again one day. I'm, I bet you will. I'm almost positive. If you go at the same time, she'll show up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think it was on a Friday, too. So, like, Friday must be the day for her. She's got uh, stuff to do. She's she's out there living yeah. her life. She's got stuff to do. Um, do you, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of doing stuff, I've been playing WoW. Yes. How is that going? Uh, It's going pretty good. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying are you, it. Are you deep in it? Are you... Just starting, what's the vibe? Uh, I'm like level 76. I've done every quest in the first new zone. And it's great. I'm loving it. Love the new zone. Love the music. Questing's been good. I'm, I'm having a great time. Although I love, I usually love every WoW expansion start. But so far, so good with this one. I just know I saw Gamescom and World of Warcraft Geek Enders in my subscription feed. I didn't watch it, but I did see it there. So I knew you talked about WoW. I mean, talk about it only in the fact that it was probably something we talked about not knowing too much actually about, you know? Right. Uh, the idea of everyone being hype and then me being like, no, nah, I'll wait. I'll wait and see what happens because everyone's always hype when a WoW expansion comes yeah, out but that's the every fun. time. That's oh, the fun absolutely, part. it's the fun. <laughs> I just don't want to pay to go back and play a thing that I'll be like, yeah, I could have I could have played anything else, you know? So... I'll wait, yeah, but, I'll wait and see what happens. But if you're having fun at the start, then it's fun. I may not have fun at the start. <laughs> Our true. versions of fun, are, I, I think, are a little bit different. <laughs> I think so, yeah. We are complete I'm opposites. Like, yeah, I want to be engaged <laughs> in the story of what's going on and like experience the adventure. And I feel like uh, a lot of the time, World of Warcraft was better when they didn't try to make that a thing. Does that make mm-hmm. any sense? Like yes. when it was... No, the adventure is because you're making it with your friends oh, rather 100%. than here's the story of Thrall and Jaina. And it's like, all right, okay, oh, I mean, yeah. this is fine. I mean, as for Modern WoW, the story is always my least favorite. But that's yeah. always kind of been my opinion for a lot of <laughs> I never really care about story. I get, I kind of get sure. into the story, but like my, my favorite parts of the story are like the side quest things. Like... When you have Mancrick fighting Quillbores, and you're like, dude, this is a crazy little side quest. Or like when you find, uh, even in Dragonflight, there's like a whole thing with the Tuscar and helping them. I'm like, dude, this is sick. And then they're like, but the main overarching story. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I, I will agree with you that I think their zone to zone storytelling is very, very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, the little tiny moments and things they include, or um, like the zone conflict thing that's happening, where it's like, you got to defeat the spider people because they're queen like that's fun that's always going to be fun Mm -hmm. to me but yeah the overarching like the reason why i'm here and the reason i'm doing this and what is this about like i need that in the game so i want to so i can play it i don't know why but if you don't give me a reason for what i'm doing all i think about is like well i'm just grinding and fighting guys and collecting bare asses and like this is boring it's just a problem (laughs) i have like you need to sell me on why it is i'm doing what i'm doing or in the case of wow spending 15 bucks a month to play you, you know? Right. No, I get it. It's, uh, because I mean, I already know I'm going to be farming mounts. I'm going to be collecting stuff. I play, honestly, I think I play it more as a collecting thing now. 
I mean, that's what we talked about in the podcast. I was like, uh, everyone that I've talked to has been very hyped for this expansion. The only person who I, I know whose hype is legitimate is you because I know what you're going to do. You're going to farm mounts. You're going to, mm. like, new expansion means new mounts, new weird shit to look at. Like, yes. it's time to go fish. <laughs> like, I know I know what you're doing. You're, you're not saying, oh, my God, I can't wait for the three-part story, The War Within, to find out what happens to the world oh, soul. Oh, yeah, I could care like, less. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I know what you're saying. I'm excited. You're excited mechanically for stuff that's happening yeah. versus the people that I see online who are like, finally. They're going to tell a good story. And I'm like, guys, I don't know that I believe that. Like, they I don't could, know that I'm with you on that yet. They could have straight up said, guys, we've removed the entire main story from the game. Enjoy. And I'd be like, oh, sick. All right. <laughs> it'd still be Honestly, playing. I'd go back and play. I would be <laughs> at that point. I would be like, yo, so you mean like the exploration and hanging out with friends and being stupid is the point? And I don't have to worry about the fact that like you've retconned the story <laughs> numerous times to the point where it's just like nonsense fine free me of this burden please i <laughs> yeah. want i'd do it yeah i'd go back and play immediately yeah it'd be great because then the story would become you just going around like doing all the like adventures out in the world like you'd go that's to the, what the first game was yeah yeah you go to the mole people and they're just like big carrot man's destroying our village and you're like oh shit i gotta help them out big carrot yeah, we gotta man's. stop those big carrot man yeah. yeah then you fight big i do man. that yeah, and then yeah. all the raids, they can just be, like, focused on each zone. You're like, you know, the carrot man has a garden. You got to go fight all the carrot men. <laughs> and then you go to the next zone. You're like, oh, okay, that's that. But you ignore the entirety of the main storyline. Because I think, yeah, it's, once you hit this big main storyline, it's like you become less of the adventure, and you're more of just a... Uh, you're just a part of the game that's going to occur anyway, whether you play it or not. You're not really yeah, making I your watched own adventure. I watched the cutscenes that were available that I assume were data mined on Wowhead, mm. and uh, it's all like, "Oh, Illyria, you're the main character, and so I'm only going to talk to you. I'm the bad guy." And there's like, "I'll kill you. I'll stop you from doing evil." And you're like, "I have no investment. Like, <laughs> this is neat to watch. Like, it's fun to see. Like, oh, that's cool. Very well done. But I have no investment in it. I'm like, why would oh, I? Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? I'm gonna let you know right now." I have skipped every cutscene. <laughs> I have not watched one cutscene. There, <laughs> I think I watched like twenty percent of one, and I was like, "All right, cool," and I skipped it. Like, I don't care. But I'm like, again, I don't. The only story game I truly enjoyed was like Baldur's Gate three, and I think I loved it because there were so many different pathways for you to take to the point where it's like you were crafting, you were doing the thing where you craft your own story, right? Yeah. But yeah. like, if I play just some random game where I know it's linear, where it's like you know any big like triple a story based game that you're probably going to play and love i yeah. just when it's just yeah. like pick your thing and it's like johnson we need to get the commander core to the central station so that we can power up the space bar and i'm just like uh, oh yeah okay. <laughs> uh, dialogue whatever like i will genuinely sure. fall asleep i mean and that just comes down to what people enjoy in games like yeah i'll never fault you for not being into like a story game because i know that <laughs> It's a, it's a genre for a reason. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And so, I mean, like, that's it, – it's it's why I um, will tolerate Guild Wars 2, for example, and not WoW, mm. because Guild Wars 2 I don't have to pay. Right. Like, a new expansion will come out. It'll be, like, 25 bucks. There'll be a bunch of story stuff. And whether the story's good or not, it doesn't matter because then I can just leave for another six months – and then be like, yeah, all right, I'll come back when you make something new. <laughs> but I don't feel obligated to grind. I don't, like, I don't, I know there's things you can grind and do in Guild Wars. I don't even touch them. <laughs> I don't feel obligated to do any of that. And yeah. um, WoW has a sense of like, no, you you should be doing this. Because if you don't do this, you're going to miss out on some of the story that's going to come later. So you got to do this. And I'm like, oh, my God. What if you just gave me the story instead? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> why do we have to make this a grind? Why is the grind to get to a gated thing that will then unlock something else? It drives right. me crazy. I do not like that at all. Yeah, I get what you mean. If I care about story, I would definitely feel that way as well. Yeah, uh, like, if you if they just gave me the story and it was easy to get, like, that's kind of like why, like, 14 is the story aspect is the easiest part of the game. Mm. Like, it's straight up just given to you. Uh, you have to fight bosses and whatnot, but unless you're completely incompetent, you're, you're going to beat the boss, right. right? 
and so you're going to get the story, and then if you want to do extra stuff, that's the the harder things. And I think the the difference is that WoW is like, no, no, no. The harder things are going to lead to more story, though. And it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, so you know, I gotta find a group, and that group's gotta get good, and we gotta farm stuff, and we gotta unlock. I'm like, nah, I just can't do it. I just don't have the patience, especially when there's so many other games to play. Right. Where I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm a, I'll play something else. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I do, I do notice there's a lot of people though, like they haven't played WoW in like years, and they're just like, now nah, here's my opinion on the state of the game, and I'm like, you don't even play the game. Sure. So it's like, <laughs> there's like, there's a thing, but I think it's because so many people have played WoW throughout the 20 years it's been around that like people do have like this kind of attachment to it because of its hold it has on so many people so uh, it's I like think a lot of people also need. just know that if you say wow you're gonna get some number of views right yeah that's true too. and especially if you have an opinion about it like this is i mean even to some extent final fantasy 14's had that happen lately with the newest expansion where people are like here's my opinion and why i didn't like it and it's like okay that's fine, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. you notice those the videos that are like, why I didn't like it do significantly better than why I did like it. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And so I mean that's just the internet, and it's one of those things. And so what ends up happening, what ends up happening, I don't know what I was saying there. <laughs> what ends up happening is that people will see the videos that are like I don't like this, and that will become the talking point rather than people who are like I like this. So mm -hmm. in my mind, I'm waiting for wow because. A lot of what we're seeing now is people being like, okay, I'm excited. This is good. I'll give it a month and see what people think then as the hype st dies down and content creators have to create content. Are they <laughs> yeah. going to create like it's still good or are they going to be like, here's 10 things that are wrong? And that's when I'll start to see sort of the real deal of what's going on. Right. Because I'm down for – them to be like, uh, hey, we're going to end the story that we're telling right now. It's going to take three games to do this cool thing. And then we're going to like start a new level of World of Warcraft or a new experience or whatever the hell they're right. doing. I don't know. But in theory, I'm like, cool. I would love to be a part of something that was a part of my life for so long that's going to wrap up and tell us an ending. But I just, at the moment, I'm like, I don't know that I have the bandwidth. <laughs> mentally to deal with that community right now right <laughs> like it's a lot it's a lot the thing is like negativity always does better than positivity no matter absolutely. what absolutely so even if like yeah. someone has fun they're still gonna hit a point where they're just gonna start making like is this the shittiest thing i ever seen even if you click it and then they're like it's not <laughs> they right, I mean, and that's what it. i want to look for that's what i want to see is when they start making content and they will that's going to be like why it's bad i want to see the reasons why they say it's bad because mm. you can very clearly and a hey, spoilers to everyone making content we can all tell if you're like hearts in it <laughs> so right. if you're telling us that it sucks but it's very obvious that you're like you know pulling at some crazy loose threads or straws mm. or whatever then it'll be obvious and i'll be like okay so this is this is what they've chosen all right maybe it is pretty good that's like when I uh, when I made my things you never, whatever in WoW it's called things you never noticed in WoW. I got so many people who are like, dude, when I watch like other people's videos, like where things you never noticed, they're like, it's always the same shit. Like this is the first time you actually found stuff I'd never actually noticed. And I'm like, it's almost like it's because I fly around and actually have fun looking at stuff in the game and finding things. <laughs> You're also not a person who's trying to pump out content constantly. Yeah, no. Like, there's a lot of people that, that right now they'll do, like, either uh, almost a video every day with, like, some insane, <laughs> like, well, I got to find something to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Or they'll do a show where they have to, in order to get the engagement clicks, they'll make, like, a crazy title about yeah. something. And then most of the show won't be about that. And you're like, well, then why am I watching this? <laughs> and then... Yeah. uh you are just like, here's my video. Here's what it is. It's 10 things. It's going to be like 10 minutes. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's you know it. what you're getting. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and there is no pretentiousness to it. It is, this is what it is. And I'm earnest about like, this is a weird thing I found rather than like the thing I found that was really weird, how they underpay their employees. <laughs> Let me tell you. And it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, it's like, but again, the negativity, like, for example, I made a video being like, the WoW pre-patch has been terrible. The video got 20,000 views. Then I said, sure. the WoW pre-patch is fixed. Actually fun now? 9,000 views. Sure. So, like, <laughs> like people, 
I think for one, people get angry as well at something. So like, I got to find someone else yelling about this. And they're like, oh, okay. But once something's fun, it's like, oh yeah, it's fun. Like they don't, nobody really cares as much because they're either playing the thing or they've moved on. I mean, it is an obvious thing that is said constantly that people don't leave positive reviews. Like mm -hmm. very, very, unless they're paid to do so, it's like their job. They don't because they're satisfied and they like move on with their life. Like yeah. I had, I, I did not write a giant screed about my apartment complex because I enjoyed them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I posted a giant, this place is terrible because it was terrible. And if they, and, and here's the thing that was after being there for 12 years. So mm -hmm. for 12 years, I was fine. And finally I was over it. I was like, no. So, I mean, that just should be a perfect example of why people don't do nice content. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, which sucks. Cause that's entirely my brand for most of my stuff. <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything mean. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the industry. I ain't the, uh, it's, there's, there's so many like, uh, I want to say, like, tropey things in the industry as well. Like, whenever you see... It reminds me of when you see a, a TikTok shop, right? And you know that they're being disingenuous. I'm sorry, what do you mean TikTok shop? You haven't seen TikTok shop? What the hell is that? Oh, my God. This guy hasn't seen TikTok shop. What is that? What is that? <laughs> when you can't say this guy hasn't seen TikTok shop. I don't know what that means. It's on like TikTok. a shop... Okay. On TikTok? Yes. So now there's a thing where if you're on a TikTok and there's a little button at the bottom that says TikTok shop or like shop or something, people can now sell products on TikTok. And if you purchase it through the, the link, then they get a cut. Right? Kind of like Amazon affiliate in a way. So there's a, a, a slew of people just being like, oh, man, I just checked out this the toothbrush and it's so good use my link to get it for yourself and it's just every time i see a tiktok and it's got the little shop thing at the bottom i'm like scroll fast i did see a tiktok i don't i didn't notice the shop thing which probably says a lot about the tiktok <laughs> itself right but i did see a tiktok where a guy was talking about some type of job something he was like yeah jobs these days he was you know he's doing a, a rant about like the the economy and stuff and i was like okay i wonder what this guy's trying to say and it all led to him being like, so what I'm trying to say is this is an ad for, and then he just tells you about a thing where you can, air quotes, make $600 a week at home, uh, spending an hour a day doing paperwork or something. And I was like, <laughs> what the, what kind of pyramid ass scam is this? Like, what's happening right now? What is, I just, this guy, and, and the worst part was, is there was nothing in there about it being an ad. Like, it didn't start with this as an ad. Nothing. He like, he's like, I guess you could say this is an ad for, and then he just lists the product. But it was a minute into the video, and I was like, damn, TikTok over there being sneaky. Meanwhile, we have to be like, this is an ad. I repeat, this is an ad. <laughs> yeah. Please be aware, this is an ad. And the thing we're doing right now is an ad. It is an advertisement for you by the company that paid me to advertise it. Yeah, like, no, that's, and there's still people, they they won't do that. They'll just, yeah. like, sneakily be like, eh, eh it's, it's, you know, I'll be fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, that's a whole thing. So, every time I see one of those, I just scroll past, because every time they're just like, guys, you won't believe this drink I just found. It's called Super Milk. Maybe that's why I don't notice it's a shop, because, like, guys, you want to believe this thing? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> just move yeah, on. scroll away. <laughs> like, no, nah, not for me. <laughs> Yeah, it's so watch out for those, you know, they're they're out there trying to get your money. I guess. Damn. Those shops. Although I'm curious how many people actually buy because there's like so many gullible people on that thing. Probably yeah. a lot And the same. I would say the same amount that buy the Instagram stuff. When you go on Instagram, there's oh, a bunch yeah. of shops trying to sell you shirts and hats and stuff. Mm. And I'm like, none of that looks high quality. No. <laughs> like everything you're selling looks like if I got it, it would be trash. Yeah. No, and I, I think a lot of people do buy it and it ends up being like the infomercials you buy and it's garbage. Some of these ads are just, there's they're still a little out there. Unlike our advertisements. For Privacy Hawk, that's right. Privacy Hawk is your all-in-one data management app. 
designed to help you regain control of your personal information. It automatically manages who uses and shares your data, allowing you to opt out and delete all your personal info from thousands of companies and data brokers. There's been a lot of talk this week about data. Not sure if you're aware of this. Uh, I found out through Privacy Hawk. Hey, someone out there stole, a, or at least ha hacked? I don't even know how this happened. A bunch of people's social security number information is out there on the dark web now. So, hey, you should probably check into that, everyone. <laughs> That's not good. Um, I found that out and was like, oh, cool. So a lot of people's stuff is out there. Thankfully, I think I'm good. But my goodness, I guess a ton of people got their stuff hacked somehow. I don't know. Not cool. Privacy Hawk helps you to discover stuff like that, where your personal information is, where it's exposed online. It'll minimize your digital footprint, stop you from all the sales stuff of, of people having your info, basically just emailing you. Have you ever just seen a bunch of emails just show up out of the blue that are like, you are now subscribed to this weird email thing, and hey, you're yeah. on it for some reason. <laughs> it's because some company sold your information, is why. And uh, Privacy Talk can help. And they'll give you a unique privacy score so you can keep track of all that stuff and how it changes over time. They also have a comprehensive ID theft protection, monitoring multiple names, phone numbers, addresses, social security numbers, and more. With $1 million in insurance, Dark web and data breach alerts and continuous monitoring. Privacy Hawk ensures you are protected even if the worst happens. The best part, something I really appreciate, live phone support. You can actually, if you have a problem, which I talked about a few weeks back, uh, I called them because I was like, yo, I just got flagged for something. What's that about? And they were like, you're fine, sir. I was like, yeah. Download Privacy Hawk right now and get your free privacy scan. Use code COX20 for 20% off their platinum plan. That's COX20 for 20% off their platinum plan. All right, Crandor, let's go to Chapter to Cover Seven. It's got the Crandor. <laughs> How's that traffic out there? Traffic is going to be interesting this week. There are specific traffic patterns out in the wild, some of which are currently in the rainforest. But we can't pick up their sights because they're in the rainforest and it's hard to get through the trees with our high-tech Cox and Crendor chapter copter technology. But I will tell you, there is some traffic in the jungle uh, right now. I don't know what I'm saying back to you. You tried, and I feel like you went someplace for yeah. sure. We did go someplace. Like the traffic took you somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, listen. One day. Where? I don't know. Yeah, one day it's going to be, you're going to be like, that's the best traffic I've ever heard in my life. One day. One day. <laughs> one day it will. <laughs> you're getting there. One day we will have an actual traffic report, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the traffic. All right, let's go to weather. Weather. I'm going to this. All right, we have 10 weather entries and we're I'm going, going to this. <laughs> uh, we have stopped on... Mar Mary Hammond, Finland, the capital of a small self-governing archipelago in the Baltic Sea. It has a weird blend as they recognize Swedish as their main language, but belong to Finland. That's a little tiny. It's a little tiny island. Oh uh, yeah, Allen the Islands. Yeah, I uh, see it. Sixty-one degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like fifty-nine. Humidity eighty-four percent. That's humid. Twenty-nine point eight five inches of pressure. Visibility ten miles. Six sixteen a.m. sunrise. Nine oh six p.m. sunset. Winds 12 miles an hour, dew point 56, UV index zero, and a waning gibbous moon. Bo -bo 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 10 day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sunday, 69, nice, mostly cloudy, wind. Monday, 65, sunny, wind. Tuesday, 67, partly cloudy. Wednesday, 67, partly cloudy. Thursday, 68, sunny. Friday, 69, nice, partly cloudy. And Saturday, 66, partly cloudy. So pretty much high 60s with some light winds. Partly cloudy. This is pretty nice weather there. All the images, the weather looks nice too. I haven't seen one image where it's snowbound yet. Oh yeah. Oh, I see where that. Yeah, this is like in between Sweden and fin Finland. I I don't know what this means exactly, but I discovered a restaurant called Ass Pavilion. <laughs> oh. Pavilionen. But oh, it's just there's this place called Ass. So there's the whole part of this town called Ass. Oh, they got the uh, pub Bastun. Ooh. 
Looks like a like a fancy place to go listen to some rock music, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, they got the Black Cat Cafe. Nice. It looks pretty all, good. All these places look like they kind of slap. Ooh, they have a pizzeria and sports bar. All right, time to judge their pizza. <laughs> sports bar has a sports bar vibe. I'll give it that. That's the good. pizza is, I mean, it, it would if they didn't drench it with what appears to be ranch. Like, it uh, is a lot of stuff. Yeah, too much ranch. Too much sauce. Too much. Although I will say maybe the reason why some of the food looks very American on this is because it looks like this is a port town for, like, cruise ships. It kind of does, yeah. And so that's probably the Indigo Restaurant and Bar. <laughs> Yo, there is a place called Rokery Kiosk in Ab, and it's just some little, like, kiosk, and I think they just serve hot dogs and milk. Hell yes. Hot dogs and milk? Yeah, it's just hot dogs and milk. No, yeah, it looks like a place that would be on a pier. Yeah, it does. But, but like, look yeah, at the food. Yeah, also, uh, yeah, also, <laughs> it is just it's just hot doggy things and milk. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> is there not any other? I mean, I guess I see someone with a Fanta. Yeah, and then on the hot dog is like ketchup, relish, and. Something? I don't even know. Some white sauce that I don't even know what that is. Yeah. If you... Is this like a delicacy? Like, you're like, oh, yeah, it's the it's the classic dog of Sweden or Finland or whatever. Yeah, they, I mean, there's one I'm looking at. It's I, I, I think maybe the difference is that their version of relish is a little more uh, pickle. Like, the chop on it looks like just something different than what we would have for relish. It does. It's, and I can't put my finger on it. Because I'm seeing mustard, but the mustard they're putting on it is like Grey Poupon style mustard, not like yeah. a yellow mustard. Yeah. It's like the deli mustard type of thing almost. But it's a little more Yeah, green. also, this place is only, I guess they know their audience. This place is open uh, from 4 p.m. to midnight basically <laughs> every day, except on the weekends it's open until 2 a.m. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Nobody's going to be like, oh, man, 10 a.m. I need to get my hot dog and milk. Sure, but like, I don't know. I feel like uh, lunchtime, but no, I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, I don't know. That's the weather. All right. What is going on in sports? Sports. Oh, man. Sports are happening. Sports. Uh, do, 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 do. So, first off, Sports. we do have the uh, college football starting up. We had Florida State versus Georgia Tech in, I think they played it in Ireland or something. Huh. I have no idea. I think that's what I heard. But uh, Georgia Tech beat Florida State, which is pretty crazy because Florida State's supposed to be good. I don't really know much about college football, except some schools are good. Uh, <laughs> I hear some schools are good. Yeah, um, and there's also some college football happening at random schools like New Mexico and Montana State and uh, SMU Nevada and Delaware State Hawaii. It's a random matchup, uh, but it is, you know, college football's back. I think it's the big thing. People are like, football. Uh, then in baseball things are getting pretty crazy we're getting towards the end of the season still we got yankees in first with the orioles a game and a half back you got the guardians in first with the royals a game back and the twins two games back and you got the astros pretty solid in first in the west with the mariners four and a half back over in the national league you've got the <laughs> <laughs> phillies in first you've got the brewers in first and the dodgers in first and then for the wild card over uh, in the National League. <laughs> the way over, he said that was great. <laughs> over in the National League playoff situation. Uh, you got the Diamondbacks, the Padres, and the Braves filling out those spots with the Mets uh, two and a half back of that last wild card spot over there. And that's that. And then we got hockey. When do when does hockey start up again, out of curiosity? Uh, September 21st is the first preseason game. I think Ooh, we're almost so, there. Yeah, we're almost to hockey time. And then I believe usually the NBA is around the same time, I think. So uh, 
let's see. Hold on. Yeah, let me check. Let me, let me make sure. Uh, yeah, they're on the same time. It's like September 25th. So, yeah, end of September, basketball and hockey both start up again. So, that's pretty fun. And, uh, and then the NFL starts in two, a little under two weeks, like a week and a half is the first football NFL regular season game. So I'm excited for that because I love football. I do a football podcast. Yeah. I mean, that's your vibe. You are a little football boy. Yep. And that's <laughs> sports. <laughs> okay. What is our fact of the day? Fact of the day. <laughs> It's a fact of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this one. Okay. These are, hold on. There's two wacky ones I'm going to share. All right. Okay. Got, yeah. It is illegal to share an image of the Eiffel Tower at night, but only for professionals. The landmark sparkling lights are protected under copyright as a work of art. Therefore, magazines, newspapers, and other professional outlets may have to pay a small fee to use imagery of the tower. At But only night. But only night. <laughs> so during yeah. day, you're fine to use it. But yeah. when the lights come on, don't you do it. Yeah, you got to pay for that. Interesting. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then California gets a bad rap for earthquakes. But did you know Missouri actually experience, experiences small earthquakes nearly every day? The southeast region of the state is part of a mid-continent fault zone known as the New Madrid Fault. We here in on the west coast we have a lot of fault line activity. Yeah. But I'm curious if the Midwest like when I lived in Ohio, I don't remember I don't think we had one earthquake ever in the 15 years I was there. Uh in the 35 years I've lived in Chicago, we've had two earthquakes I can remember. Yeah, I don't. Maybe it's just not very active comparably. Yeah, but guess, yeah. everything I'm seeing online is like when the big one comes. <laughs> that's good. That's it. It's over for all of us. I'm like in the Midwest. <laughs> I guess they had one in 2018, but I wasn't there for it, so that would. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I can remember two earthquakes. That was it, and they weren't like crazy. It was just like, and you're like, oh, what the? Okay. Wow, it was a 9.3 magnitude, largest earthquake in American history and second largest confirmed earthquake in the history of the world. I will be honest, I forgot that happened. I don't I even know do. if I remember it happening. <laughs> 2018 yeah. is a different time for me. Yeah, that is I mean, yeah, that is like 6 years ago at this point. Yeah, but you think I wouldn't remember a 9.3 earthquake? Maybe you're just so immune to earthquakes at this point. Yeah, but like it would have been all over the news. I guess maybe it was, and then just suddenly COVID made everything else not matter. Yeah, that's possible. Because um, I don't remember any of this, and they're talking about how like people in Pennsylvania felt it. Oh wow! Yeah, I... wow, twenty five thousand people died due to earthquakes that day. What? Yeah, what the shit? It's like a crazy thing we just like buy or like just looked over like what hold on hold on hold on this can't be real okay this can't be real never mind no this can't be real all this info this sucks i hate the internet <laughs> all this information links back this sucks dude all what? this information links back to um a website called hypothetical events.fandom.com uh <laughs> In hypothetical earthquakes, why would they allow people to create full wikis for information that isn't real? So it's just Says the guy who went to a Star Wars wiki the other day. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, that is pretty crazy. They can just take hypothetical situations and then make news out of hypothetical situations. <laughs> I literally did not. It seemed like a normal news website, and then the links were to a fake news source that was a hypothetical events wiki. Like, I just yeah, that is, don't like that. Don't like that. Some, Meanwhile, uh, the real one, the real New Madrid earthquake struck 206 years ago. Oh, <laughs> okay. That makes more sense. Uh, that's 
That's, there's got to be some crazy, like, Chiluminati thing there. Mathis could be like, the aliens have set up hypothetical situations to f trick us. <laughs> well, I, I got tricked. They tricked me. <laughs> they did. Because I was like, I don't remember this at all. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills Then it's because it wasn't real. Either that or it's these crazy pills I've been taking. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop taking those. Uh, <laughs> there's your facts of the day. Oh, right. What is our big news story of the day? Big news story of the day. Man points gun at Burger King worker that wouldn't take drugs as payment. <laughs> you know what? I, of all the places I, I feel like would take drugs as payment, Burger King seems like it. I'll be honest. <laughs> it does. So I get the, I get the confusion. Um, a man who was arrested for threatening a Burger King employee with a gun for not accepting drugs as payment has been sentenced to over a century in prison. According to prosecutors, the altercation between Burger King worker and customer was the first domino in a series of crimes committed by Eugene Robertson, 40, on October 17, 2022. That night, Robertson placed a drive through order at Burger King in Aurora, Colorado, near Denver, according to court documents. When he approached the window, he attempted to pay with drugs. The employee declined, and Robertson pulled out a handgun and pointed it at the employee before driving away. Later, prosecutors said Robertson went to a convenience store across the street and similarly threatened the clerk with his pistol. Upon spotting a security camera in the store, he shot the monitor it was attached to and left. The district oh, attorney's office said that Robertson shot at two other people in the corner store parking lot. According to the Sentinel Colorado, a witness in the convenience store told police there was something off with Robertson as he was talking about God and carrying a Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's something weird about this man. <laughs> one final report from October 17, 2022 came from one of Robertson's friends who said he fired shots outside her apartment when she wouldn't open the door. They also said this apartment complex was there was where police caught and arrested Robertson who was hiding behind bushes. No serious injuries were reported from any of the victims, and he was sentenced to 143 years in prison. He was charged with eight counts of attempted murder and extreme indifference, four counts of felony menacing, illegal discharge of firearm, possession of a controlled substance, harassment, two counts of reckless endangerment, and a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, listen, if that guy was pointing, I'd be like, sure, I'll take the drugs. like, <laughs> And then just be like, hey, uh... The guy was going to, he pulled a gun out, so I just took his drugs. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I, You know what? I'm not getting shot for Burger King. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'll take your drugs, man. Go live your life. Here, have our terrible burgers and go live your life. You want an extra one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Burger King, probably the worst out of all the fast food establishments. I'm not going to say probably. I'm going to say definitely. Uh, actually, it's a lie. Arby's, worse. Okay, yeah, RB, it's probably worse, yeah, but... But Burger King, <laughs> second to last. Definitely, definitely, truly terrible food. Uh, let me tell you, I went to BurgerKing.com just now, and the first Did thing I saw... they say pay us in drugs on the fr front page? Close. Uh, it says BK and Walmart Plus go better together. <laughs> and Oof. the fact that they've teamed up with Walmart Plus makes me want to eat there even less. The fact that even the images of their burgers don't look good. Yeah, it's just they look almost fake. But like, I mean, like they're definitely fake. That's the, but like not in an appetizing way, but in like a way that makes no sense. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like they don't look good. Like, the chicken sandwich doesn't even look like a good chicken sandwich. Like it doesn't look like I would want to eat it. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, the chicken sandwich was just like a big dry piece of chicken. On a yeah, bun it doesn't look delicious too, like, at all. There's nothing. Too big. Yeah, it looks terrible. <laughs> it just does not look good. I don't. I don't like the fact that they're offering delivery stuff on here. Order like how much do you oil. like? If you could have anything delivered, Burger King's what you would choose. That's a <laughs> that's a lapse of judgment right there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check review bra to see his Burger King opinions. He had to have done some Burger King recently. I imagine, like everyone else, he's like it's trash. I don't it think is. the man, he might, I think I recall him saying he likes the uh, chicken fries. Oh, yeah. But That's, he looks like a dude who would like chicken fries. He does. <laughs> I remember I tried one time. It was like, it'd be like eight years ago. Everyone was like, chicken fries. They came out. I tried them. They were burned and tasted terrible. And I was like, I think that was the last time I went to Burger King. 
the last time I went to Burger King, I was traveling across the country. I think I was going to maybe someone's wedding. And I was driving across the country, and I saw a Burger King. I was like, well, it's along the way. And I was all right, sure. Got a uh, double, just a normal double mm-hmm. cheeseburger. I was sick for like a day and a half. <laughs> I it it did not settle well at all. I was like, "What the hell did I eat?" <laughs> oh yeah, and all I had was that Burger King. I think the the last not time, a fan. Actually, I think it was before the chicken fries. There was like a time nine years ago or something. I ate Burger King, and I did not feel good after either. So, like Burger King is. There used to be a time when I was a kid that I actively would choose Burger King above everything else because I liked the frame the flame mm. broil taste. More than I did, like, the fried McDonald's right. hamburger or whatever. Um, but I don't know what happened. At some point over the last 10, 15 years, they were like, screw it. Our meat's going to taste like ass, and we're going to cover it up by putting way too much ketchup and mustard <laughs> yeah. on it. And now every burger they have there tastes like the sauce rather than meat. And uh, everything is, like, hyper low quality and then, yeah, they're like, instead of giving you a good chicken sandwich, chicken fries is what we came up with. Like, cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great. Yeah, it's not an appetizing place to visit. Yeah, no, it's – uh, yeah, I remember I went to Burger King a few times, like, way back in the day. It was, like, 2000 and – I want to say 10. And it was, like, pretty alright then. But I don't know if my taste buds have just gotten better or the, their quality has gone down or both. But it's it's just every time I'm like, what if I got Burger King? I'm like, I could literally get anything else. <laughs> like anything yeah, else. Anything yeah. else. Plus there's just like, I mean, even I think that's part of the problem is like all the all these restaurants back in the nineties or even like early two thousands, they'd be like, Hey, come here, you got the fast food, it's cheap, whatever. Now it's expensive and it's still bad. And it's like I could just go to like anywhere else and pay the same amount at that point. I'm gonna send you this link. It is a what? It's called "What Happened, Bro." It's under memes. Uh, it looks like this is way back in the day. There is Ryan. Gosling Ryan Gosling. Yeah. And kid Ryan Gosling, uh, and then adult Ryan Gosling from Blade Runner 2049 <laughs> are the two images here. But then what so else? Kid is Ryan happening? Gosling is kind of happy. Everything's vibrant, and it says new beefy five layer burrito, eighty nine cents. And then the other one of him like. Whoa. It says beefy five layer burrito, five dollars and thirty six cents. And the thing is, is the image is the exact same. That burrito <laughs> has the exact yeah, same it's context. It's exactly the same. It has not changed, <laughs> and they are charging so much more. That's so gross. And that's how I feel about it. Like a, a, a crappy burrito with crappy stuff in it for eighty nine cents. I'm in. You've sold me. I'll eat that. A five dollar thirty six cents crappy burrito. I'd rather just go get Man. a real burrito. Hold on. What's what was let's say one dollar back then worth now? Out of curiosity, uh, inflation calculator. Here we go. Um, I'm just gonna say 1990. Oh, sure. And now it is worth two dollars and forty one cents. So that is not only has the price just like of inflation, but like if it was the same price, that should that burrito should be like. Three bucks maximum. Yeah, what if I go to Omaha, Nebraska? All right, let's go to the one near the Iowa-Nebraska border. All right. Start my order. Let's see what we got here. Store open till 11.30 p.m. We'll do a now. We'll do in-store pickup. In-store. Now. Okay, finish. All right, Burritos. What is it? The uh, five layer, beefy five layer burrito. Yeah, if you're in the middle of America, three seventy nine is what it says. Oh, yeah, I just went downtown on Dearborn, and it's five twenty nine. Interesting. They know. They know. So it's kind of it's kind of like gas, and that depending on where you're buying the gas, you're paying a different price. <laughs> yeah, I, I think hate it that. Is. I, that sucks. That's that terrible. Actually... <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think. Yeah, it is straight up like gas. Uh. Man. Well, that's your big news story. Of the wow. day. Look at us. Look what we found. All right. Well, <laughs> that is it for us. Thanks so much for listening and watching. I'm enjoying this podcast. Crandor, hit him with the socials. 
Oh boy, have we got socials. YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast to listen to all these podcasts from any year or the playlist, all of them, if you want, for some reason. Also, you go to YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor. You can find all the animations there. Also, you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, all those places. We're also on our own things. YouTube.com Jesse Cox, YouTube.com Crendor, Patreon Jesse Cox, Patreon Crendor, Twitter Jesse Cox, Twitter Crendor, Instagram Notorious Cox, Instagram Crendor is taken. Twitch TV, Jesse Cox. Twitch TV, Crendor. And that's it. See you next time. And as always, shake the rhino. To be continued.